we are we go on to another level or to another section of the contest. Well, good luck. It can't be any closer. A special point on some curves. The gradient position at my position is always zero. The gradient function zone. Point of inflection. Point of inflection. I'm a term known to the ordinary person as well as to zoologists and geologists. To the ordinary person, I am a type of loose garment worn over other clothes. I also represent the role and responsibilities of an important person. To the geologist, I am that part of the earth between the crust and the core. To the zoologist, to, uh, Raymond. Mantle. Yeah, Mantle. I am a beautiful example of an element that exhibits allotropy. My allotropes are easily interconvertible, going from rhombic to monoclinic. Raymond. Sulfur. Sulfur. Alas, a riddle. I mean different things to different people. Non-scientists who do not know better refer to me sometimes as the intensity or feeling of reaction and at other times as the height or stress of an action or condition. Sometimes it is one of several preliminary contests held to eliminate less competent contenders. Raymond. Heat. Heat. Here I make statements. A statement to each school, and the school should tell me whether they here I make statements. A statement to each school, and the school should tell me whether the statement that I have made is true or false. The school has 10 seconds within which to give me an answer. If the answer is correct, they get two points. But if the answer is not correct, then they get a point deducted from the point that they have already earned. They may opt not to answer whether the statement is made is true or false, in which case, I pass the statement on to the other school for two points if they get it correct or minus two if they don't. Well, even at this stage, I'll say good luck to both schools. My first statement is to Wesley Girls. In the set of rational numbers, the identity elements for addition and multiplication are the same. Akria. It's false. False. The sum of the first and last term of an arithmetic progression is equivalent to twice the mean of the term. Jones. True. Here yeah, is true. Why? The fluorescent lamp is basically a gas discharge tube. Akria. It's true. True. Diffraction depends on the wavelength of the wave and the size of the diffracting object. Bernard. Bernard. Four. Two. Wesley Girls. The set of all real numbers are countable. Equia. Four. Four. The set of all rational numbers are countable. Raymond. False. False. Polarization is a property of longitudinal waves. Anita. False. False. St. Peter's. The human eye cannot distinguish between polarized and non-polarized light. Bernard. True. True. Statement to Wesley Girls. Ion 3 hydroxide is insoluble in water, whereas ion 2 hydroxide is soluble. Akria. It's true.
No, that's false. Uh, St. Peter's, your last statement. A piece of paper soaked with acidified KMNO4 is decolorized when exposed to SO2 gas. Don't you? Yeah. Well, viewers, we have come to the end of this semi-final contest. For a more active life, rich and creamy Amstel Malta, the international quality low sugar malt drink. Yeah, that's the way I like my malt drink, Amstel Malta. Low sugar with pleasurable taste and pure nourishment for you to enjoy again and again. I like it. I like it. Amstel Malta. Look good. Feel good. Well, viewers, at the end of the contest, here are the scores. Whistler Girls High School had 61 points and St. Peter's had 81 points.